There are three techniques of doing retinoscopy. Technique 1 Retinoscopy with a spherical and a cylinder trial lens. Technique 2 Retinoscopy with two spherical trial lenses. Technique 3 Retinoscopy with two cylinder trial lenses. Step 1 Placing working distance power. Step 2 Neutralize one meridian with spherical trial lens. Step 3 Neutralized other meridian with cylinder trial lens. Now step 1 Placing working distance power. Place working distance power 1.5 diopter before patient eye. Here for this patient we are doing retinoscopy at 67 cm and that's why we are giving the working distance power 1.5 diopter as our first step. The distance between the eye and the retinoscope is called working distance and the dioptric value of working distance is called working distance power. The formula used to identify the working distance power is 100 divided by working distance in centimeter. Commonly used working distance is 67 centimeter or 1.5 diopter. Step 2 Neutralized 1 meridian with spherical trial lens. After giving working distance power, check the movement of reflex in both meridians, whether it is with movement or against movement. Here for this patient, after giving the working distance power, we can see in both meridian the movement is against movement. Now neutralize one meridian with plus spherical trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus spherical trial lens if reflex is against movement. Now we will neutralize one meridian with spherical trial lens. Let's try to neutralize horizontal meridian. So in horizontal meridian we are seeing this is against movement. So we will place minus spherical trial lens to neutralize it. Now let's start with minus 0.25. Now still it's against movement so we have to increase the minus power but we have to increase at a rate of minus 0.25. So let's increase minus 0.25. Still it's against, again we have to increase. Still it's against movement. We have to increase more power. Still it's against, so we have to increase more power. Still it's against, let's increase more. Still it's against, still it's against, we have to increase the power. Now it's get neutralized. Here we have neutralized horizontal meridian with minus 2 diopter spherical trial lens. So minus 2 diopter spherical will be our spherical power. Now let's move to our third step to identify cylinder power. Now step 3. Neutralize other meridian with cylinder trial lens. Working distance power and spherical trial lens will remain there in trial frame. Now neutralize the other meridian with plus cylinder trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus cylinder trial lens if reflex is against movement. Now we will neutralize the other meridian that is vertical meridian with cylinder trial lens. Now let's see the movement first. Here we can see this is against movement, so we have to neutralize it with minus cylinder lens. Let's start with minus 0.25. Here you can see it's still against, so we have to increase the power. It's still against, let's increase more. Still against, let's increase more. Now it's get neutralized. Here we have neutralized other meridian that is vertical meridian with minus 1 diopter cylinder trial lens with trial lens axis aligned with 90 degree. So minus 1 is our cylindrical power at 90 degree axis. Finally our final refraction will be minus 2 diopter spherical and minus 1 diopter cylindrical at 90 degree axis. This technique has only 4 simple steps. Step 1 Neutralize one meridian with one spherical trial lens and write the power in the optical cross. Step 2. Neutralize other meridian with another spherical lens and write the power in optical cross. Step 3. Subtract working distance power from both meridian. Step 4. 
write final prescription from optical cross step 1 neutralize one meridian with a spherical trial lens neutralize one meridian with plus spherical trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus spherical trial lens if reflex is against movement now let's neutralize vertical meridian with one spherical trial lens in this meridian the movement is with so we will neutralize this meridian with a trial lens that is having against movement so plus lens is having against movement so we will use plus lens to neutralize this meridian now we have added plus 0.50 and movement is still with so we will use more power now we have added plus 1 still it's with 1.5 still it's with 2 still it's with movement with the 2.5 it's also with movement with plus 3 it's also with with plus 3.5 it's with so with the plus 4 this meridian is neutralized so now we will write this power in the optical cross in the vertical meridian or 90 degree axis we got power plus 4 so the power will be 90 degree apart from the axis so we will write the power here in the horizontal meridian step 2 neutralize other meridian with another spherical trial lens now neutralize the other meridian with plus spherical trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus spherical trial lens if reflex is against movement we have neutralized vertical or 90 degree axis now we will neutralize other meridian with another trial spherical lens now here in the horizontal or 180 degree axis the movement is also with so we will use against movement trial lens and in the plus lens we have against movement so we will use plus spherical trial lens to neutralize this meridian now with plus 0.5 the movement is still with so we will increase more plus power with plus 1 still it's with movement with plus 1.5 still it's with with plus 2 also it's with so we will increase more power with plus 2.5 it's still with now finally with plus 3 diopter we have neutralized the horizontal or 180 degree axis let's write this power into the optical cross in horizontal meridian or 180 degree axis we got plus 3 so the power will be 90 degree apart so we will write the power here now step 3 subtract working distance power from both meridian let's consider we have done retinoscopy from 67 cm which is equivalent to plus 1.5 diopter so we will subtract plus 1.5 diopter from both meridian in this meridian the final power will be plus 3 minus 1.5 which is working distance power equal to plus 1.5 diopter and here in the horizontal meridian the final power will be plus 4 diopter minus 1.5 diopter or plus 2.5 diopter now step 4 write final prescription from the optical cross for spherical power take any meridian as spherical meridian for cylinder power the difference between cylinder meridian and spherical meridian will be cylinder power and axis will be 90 degree apart to cylinder meridian let's consider the horizontal meridian as a spherical meridian so our spherical power will be plus 2.5 diopter spherical our cylinder meridian is vertical meridian so our cylinder power will be plus 1.5 minus 2.5 which is spherical meridian power so the final cylinder power will be minus 1 diopter cylinder so we have cylinder minus 1 diopter power in vertical meridian so the axis will be 90 degree to cylinder meridian that is 180 final power will be plus 2.5 diopter spherical with minus 1 cylinder at 180 degree axis
This technique has only four simple steps. Step 1. Neutralize one meridian with one cylinder trial lens and write power in the optical cross. Step 2. Neutralize other meridian with another cylinder trial lens and write the power in the optical cross. Step 3. Subtract working distance power from both meridian in the optical cross. Step 4. Write final prescription from optical cross. Now step 1. Neutralize one meridian with the cylinder trial lens. Neutralize the meridian with plus cylinder trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus cylinder trial lens if the reflex is against movement. Here for this patient 180 degree is one principal meridian and 90 degrees another principal meridian. So we will target horizontal or 180 degree meridian and we will neutralize it with a cylinder trial lens. Now here the movement is against. So we will neutralize this meridian with a cylinder trial lens that is having with movement. So minus cylinder trial lens is having with movement. So we will add minus cylinder trial lens to neutralize this meridian. Now with minus 0.25 the movement is still against so we will increase more power. With minus 0.75 still it's against. With minus 1.25 still against. With minus 1.75 still it's against movement so we have to increase more. With minus 2.25 still it's against so let's increase more. With minus 2.75 still it's against. Finally with minus 3 cylinder trial lens this meridian get neutralized. Now let's write the power in the optical cross. Cylinder axis was 180 so power will be here in 90 degree minus 3. Now let's move to next step. Step 2. Neutralize other meridian with another cylinder trial lens. Now neutralize this meridian with a plus cylinder trial lens if reflex is with movement or with a minus cylinder trial lens if reflex is against movement. Now we will neutralize other meridian that is 90 degree with another cylinder trial lens. Here the movement is against movement. So we will neutralize this meridian with a cylinder trial lens that is having with movement or minus cylinder trial lens. Now with minus 0.25 the movement is still against so we have to increase the power. With minus 0.75 still is against let's increase more. With minus 1.25 still against. With minus 1.5 still against. With minus 1.75 still against. Finally with minus 2 this meridian get neutralized. Now let's write the power into optical cross. Cylinder axis was aligned with 90 degree. So the power will be here in 180 degree minus 2. Let's move to the next step. Step 3. Subtract working distance power from both meridian. Suppose for this patient we are doing retinoscopy from 67 cm. So the working distance power will be 100 divided by 67 or 1.5 diopter. So after subtracting working distance power in this meridian we have minus 3 minus 1.5 equal to minus 4.5 diopter and here in this meridian minus 2 minus 1.5 equal to minus 3.5 diopter. Now let's move into our next step. Step 4 write final prescription from the optical cross. For spherical power take any meridian as spherical meridian. Let's consider this is spherical meridian. So our spherical power is minus 3.5. For cylinder power, the difference between cylinder meridian and spherical meridian will be cylinder power. And axis will be 90 degree apart to cylinder meridian. This is cylinder meridian. So the cylinder power will be minus 4.5 minus minus 3.5. Or cylinder power will be minus 4.5 plus 3.5 because when we multiply minus with minus it become plus. So the final cylinder power will be minus one diopter cylinder.
and the axis will be 90 degree apart that is 180 degree. So the final prescription will be minus 3.5 diopter spherical minus 1 diopter cylindrical at 180 degree axis.